Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to harvest the Swiss chard that we've been growing inside. You can actually get an amazing amount out of a very small area. This is just a little small half flat and I started this from seed a couple of months ago. Have them growing underneath some fluorescent lights along with my other seeds for the garden. And here in the cold of winter some fresh greens are pretty nice. Now the way to keep them going is to just harvest them with a pair of scissors. Just reach in, cut the big leaves that are getting all straggly and hanging all over the place anyway. New leaves will grow right behind them. Now granted this is not the biggest going to be the biggest bag of greens you ever saw but these will cook up nice for breakfast or for a little side dish for someone. Let's see if I can show you what all we've got. How these are. See, these are these are big leaves for inside. Wonderfully fresh, incredibly nutritious. So we're going to keep cooking some more because I know these cook down to just be nothing. My wife was down here cutting on them yesterday. So if you do this right, you can cut on them on a pretty regular basis. Just try and leave them enough, you know, a leaf or two to keep going. Switch this around. There's a nice leaf. My wife will cook these up for, for little greens for her breakfast, and I'll keep some of them to feed to my Placostomus. That's my albino catfish. They like them better than zucchini, and it's certainly a lot more nutritious. And of course, if you had a bigger flat than this, full size flat, you could get twice as much. Now, these will grow back and I can get another harvest in a week. And yes, it's not tons, but this time of year, some fresh, really, really fresh greens is a whole lot better than none at all. So, here you go. You might want to give this a try. Okay, I've put some coconut oil in the pan and melted it at medium low. And I'm just going to take these beautiful Swiss chard leaves and just tear them up and put them in the pan. They won't take long, just a few minutes to wilt down. Because they're so young and tender. I'm just going to stir them around. Like a lot is as it cooks down. very much. And you need them like that. Or one of my favorite ways is just to scramble up some eggs and mix them in with your scrambled eggs.